close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. Welcome back to the Sweet Fam family and friends. I am going to make sorrel wine today, and today I'm going to keep it basic and simple. I am just going to work with some sorrel and ginger. So I've got two bags of 100 gram sorrel. Each 100 gram is six cups of water. So in total, I'm going to use 12 cups of water. And um, with the ginger, it depends on how much you prefer in your drink. So that's a personal preference. So let's get into this, guys. I'm just going to beat the ginger. Well, of course, it's already washed. So I'm just going to beat the ginger. So when it goes in the boiling water, we can get all the flavor out of it. You can just use a bottle or anything you've got. You can even blend it, but I just prefer to do it this way. So here we go, guys. We have our boiling water. I'm going to add the ginger as well as our sorrel. Yes, I'm using the dry sorrel as you can see because I cannot get the fresh sorrel in my area. Yes, guys, so I'm going to turn off my stove now and cover this and leave it to draw. Well, for overnight, I'm going to leave it to draw overnight. And then tomorrow, when it's dry and cool, I am going to sweeten it. But I am not going to use any alcohol because, as you know, I am catering for the whole family. And I've got children as well as my job. I can't drink any alcohol. So I'll catch you in a few hours when this is dry and um, I'm going to sweeten it. So it's 24 hours now. Our sorrel is dry, cooled and ready to be sweetened. So remember that we're not going to put any alcohol in our sorrel because it's a family drink and i've got young children so if you want you can put your red label wine a little rum over pro rea nevi rum wine anything of your desire if you can even put a bit of rum or whatever while you're serving your drink but i'm just going to sweeten it with some sugar and serve it with ice <music> Going to strain it off now. You can smell all that ginger smelling very nice. It looks very rich. Okay, and now I'm going to add some sugar to that. You are going to sweeten it um, to your desired taste in terms of how sweet you prefer your drink. So I'm just gonna add the sugar in now. That's looking so rich and the smell of that is so lovely. You can smell all that ginger coming through the sorrel. Smells very nice. Okay, so I'm going to taste that now to see if I need any more sugar. Mm. Just 
a little bit more sugar. Okay. Is perfect so I'm going to serve this now with some crushed ice because it's tasting lovely guys here I've got it my sorrel wine ready to be served <laughs> and rich so finally I'm going to tuck into my drink now mmm very very tasty so like I'm having it now if you want you can just add your red label or your rum if you choose not to add any alcohol to it while you're sweetening your drink and you know that's gonna go perfect with your rum cake perfect so I did a video to show a simple um, way how to make your rum cake so you can also have a look at that video as well mm. absolutely delicious it tastes like Christmas so guys you can try this recipe Thank you once more for watching leave a comment thanks for your support everyone if you're watching this and haven't subscribed please subscribe leave a thumbs up and you can also um tell me what else you want me to try and make it next so until next time let me know if you try and let me know how it comes out or if you need a bit of tip you can always drop me a line thank you very much for watching take care now and stay safe